it's interesting because I'm going to this A2E conference um, on Thursday, which is Ted's Artist Entrepreneur Conference up in um, San Francisco. And one of the things I'm supposed to do is say, is in three minutes, which I said, are you kidding? Three minutes, me? And, and they said, oh, do you want it shorter or longer? And it's like, well, considering I usually talk for two days, you know, nonstop, I think three minutes is probably going to be pretty tough for me. So um, I don't think I've ever said anything in three minutes, um, which is, you know, one of my initial issues with Twitter is uh, I have a hard time talking in short bites. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like, what's the most exciting thing that's happened in the last year, in your opinion? And to me, it's filmmakers embracing the notion of serialized content that and not thinking about like I mean if you want to put in simplistic terms of filmmakers thinking about moving towards the television model from a film model and just like the more exciting things happening in drama or a lot of the more exciting things in drama are happening not out of feature films studio films but are happening in television or things that are similar to television that I think the web is starting to mature where filmmakers can find satisfying creative expression with serialized form which is the natural which natural form towards engaging audience on a regular basis than a feature film and to me what i've started saying in a lot of workshops now or interviews is that um i think we're going to get to the point where only making a feature film is like using a rotary dial phone that you know, it's more and more filmmakers have to understand that a feature film is one form that was developed a century ago and that today in order to engage audiences, while the feature form is still satisfying and I still like watching features, um, it's not the only media form that audiences want to connect with and many audiences don't have the time for 90 minutes, don't, won't engage you on a feature, you know, and that you want to think about the different ways that you can connect with audiences that will work around a feature film and will involve a feature film, but that if you're only thinking that you're going to make a feature film, you're going to get that out into the world, you're, to me, kind of shooting yourself in the foot because you're not preparing for all the other kinds of audience engagement that might be possible. So, for instance, you know, Bombit 2, which is a, I'm releasing as a feature soon, started as a web series and was born on the web as a web series. And, and then I figured, well, let's just try to put it together, see if it fits together as a feature, and which it did. And um, because I have certain ways to monetize content set up through Bombit 1, and there seemed to be an interest of Bombit 2 that I could actually make some additional revenue from releasing Bombit 2 in addition to the money that I made creating it as a web series. So, um, but when I made it into a feature, I also realized that I had shot a bunch of extra material. And so we, cre we created 10 other pieces of content that we're going to use to help promote the release of Bombit 2. In addition to that, we're also going to do an online web contest you know, for people to submit their videos from all over the world of graffiti and street art. We're going to do a video contest and a still contest, a, 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 um, a still image contest, and where the winners are actually going to end up on the Bombit DVD. So in a sense, it's kind of a form of contest crowdsourcing. And, um, you know, and so that's, if I only thought about Bombit as a feature film, I feel like I would really hamper, you know, my vision of how it can engage audiences in a sense. And, you know, I think the real forward thinking filmmakers like Tiffany Schlain and, um, and, um, oh, God, I keep on, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, you know, um, who I say visionary filmmaker through his hit record program who are engaging audiences in interesting ways, and, and Ed Burns does it too, to an extent, um, in terms of involving their audience in the creation. You know, and this is something that's been around for a while. You know, Star Wreck, Timu from um, Finland did it with Star Wreck and as well with Iron Sky. But I think there's, you know, more and more interesting ways to do this. And I think, you know, that's just one example of how filmmakers 
should and can get beyond the feature form. And if you look at Tiffany, you know, a lot of her successes come not through features, but through shorts and through things that, you know, aren't one thing or another, you know, there's no label for them. So I think more and more, you know, and I teach at film school and it's, you know, and there's this, <clears throat> still within students there's this notion of the feature film but you have to really look at the modern audience and is that all they want to consume and is that even the primary thing that they want to consume you know and that's not saying that you can't tell stories in a in u utilizing um you know the moving image but i think it's important for filmmakers to kind of reconceptualize how they tell stories